Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Speaking on an event organized by his PhD Chamber of Commerce and Vision Initiatives of India's Aerospace Capabilities and Technology Requirements, Air Chief Marshal V R Chaudhary has shared few important information about direct energy weapons and hypersonic weapons. He said that direct energy weapons and hypersonic weapons have already been tested and employed by other nations and india's defense industries need to push the development of these weapons and integrate them into airborne platforms to get the desired range and accuracy therefore chief said that dues particularly lasers provide significant advantages over traditional weapons such as precision engagement low cost per shot logistic benefits and low detectability the united states air force research laboratory have already started developing laser weapons the us air force research laboratory or afrl is working on assembly of its self protect high energy laser demonstrator called shield weapon shield is going to be an advanced technology demonstration program within AFRL that aims to develop a directed energy laser weapon housed in an aircraft pod that will be capable of shooting down surface to air missile or air to missile flying at supersonic speed the first major assembly in the shield pod structure which is built by Boeing it will allow AFRL scientists and engineers to begin building and integrating the entire system the remaining subsystems are laser systems and beam control system the full system test is scheduled for physical year 2024 lockheed martin is a prime contractor for the shield program the plan is to field the production variant that can adapt on all legacy as well as fifth generation fighter jets so this was about united states progress now let's talk about india the two laboratories of DRDO are primarily working on DU, which are CHESS or Center for High Energy Systems and Science located in Hyderabad and Laser Science and Technology Center, LASTIC. There are many projects in progress related to DUs under DRDO sleeves. Some of the projects are Kilo Ampere Linear Injector or Kali, Project Aditya, Durga 2 and Air Defense Dazzlers. Kali has a very interesting story behind it and possibly the first military use of direct energy weapon in the world. BEL has already been manufacturing the laser dazzlers and supplying to Indian Navy. The laser dazzlers is used as non-lethal method for stopping suspicious vehicles, aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles from approaching secured areas. In February 2022, the Chinese PLA Navy has been accused of using laser beams against Piet Poseidon Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft of Australia. In the physical year 2021-22, DIDO has requested 100 million budget to produce a high-power laser weapon. The classified project is dubbed as Durga 2 or directionally unrestricted ray gun array. It is aimed to develop a 100 kilowatt lightweight directed energy system once developed it will be integrated with various platforms such as land sea and air-based platforms for military the most challenging part of the project is the complexity of energy generation on such a high scale within that system the durga project may have started way back in early 2000 but it gained momentum only in 2017 when DRDO tested a one kilowatt truck mounted laser weapon over a range of 250 meter in Chitar Durga. LASTIC has also developed a 25 kilowatt laser weapon that can target a ballistic missile during its terminal phase at a max distance of 5 km. While there are no official time frame which has been defined or outlined as per the reports from Financial Express, the full prototype of Durga will be one of the most crucial projects to watch out for the year 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind.
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.